other. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use page load timeout method to tell the Selenium web driver that we have to wait for a particular time before it loads the web page and finds the element in our test. So first, we will find such element on google.com. Let's go with this text box element and id is lst-ib so we are going to find this one now let's get into the code and here you'll find i have imported classes time init selenium by web driver web element and firefox so you can add them while writing the code as well but i have already done that so let me type in web driver driver equals to new firefox driver Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to call for manage method, then timeouts, and then I will call for page load timeout. It takes two arguments, which is first is our time and second is time minute dot seconds. And once you have that, we will simply load our web page. Now, inside try and catch block, what I'm going to do is we, I'm going to create web element element equals to driver dot find element and by ID and that ID should be LST dash ID. I'm going to go with this. After that, simply print out that element so it will show the instance of our driver and the element in console. And for catch, we will simply go with exception E. For system dot print element, and here we are going to print out error with ID name. So once you do that, simply save your program, and we are going to revise the code again. We imported necessary classes, we created driver instance, and we use driver dot manage timeouts and page load timeout method specify the amount of time that we want to wait before loading our web page and then within try and catch block we are checking for our element so unless page is properly loading for that particular timeout period of 30 seconds we are not going to try and catch block you can reduce this to 10 or 5 to see how it works so first we will pass this test and then we will fail it by changing the timeout time and also with find element. So let's run this. As you can see, it started loading google.com and it also printed out our message for element so it waited till that particular session goes now let's create an error here by making wrong element id also change this to lower page load timeout and see what error it throws So it is loading google.com and it is showing our error as well. Okay, so let's make it correct this time and see if it loads our web page within this short timeout period. Okay, as you can see, that timeout is not sufficient to load the web page and it is 
destroying the air, which is something that we didn't catch here. So now you know how to use page load timeout for your test.